Hey, what's up, everybody? Michael the Ark here. We're out here on Call of the Wild again, and I am bringing you another weapon information video. This is the Olsen Model 23308 from the brand new Hunter Power Pack. This is actually a rather pretty gun. It uh, looks really good. We stand up. You can see it's got a, a nice look to it as is. I love the, the way it's got the black and white speckle. Alright, so you can see the way it looks there. And then it does have the true vision. Uh, I will be comparing it to the Zarza 308 as well. Let's get over here and get some stats on it. All right, so the Olsen Model 23308 comes in at 3.5 units of weight. It has four rounds in the magazine. The accuracy is 40, recoil 79, reload speed 40, and the hip shot is 27. Now, let's compare it. It is the same weight, but it has one fewer rounds than the Zarza 10 308. So if we look here again, accuracy 40. On this one, the accuracy is 45. Hmm. Okay. The recoil is 79. The recoil is 75. The reload speed is 40. The reload speed is 59. Hmm. So then on this one, the hip shot is 27 and on here it is 50 so besides the reload speed which is honestly not very much difference the zarza is better in every way every way <laughs> i i really don't understand why they gave us another 308 i mean just to have it i guess and that's cool but, yeah, the Zarza's better. Um, in my opinion, and from my test, the Zarza definitely is a much better weapon. And as for the way that this works, I would expect this to be a more powerful weapon and more accurate overall. But this is, to me, it's not the case. So, anyway, let's go on and let's look at compatible items and... It is compatible with the 308 polymer tip. 10 of those are going to run you 850 credits. It's also compatible with the 308 soft point bullet, and 10 of those will run you 690 credits. So the polymer tips have an effective range of 164.04 yards, penetration of 44, expansion of 13, and this is a 428 class weapon. Again, effective range is 164.04 yards. Penetration on these are 19, and the expansion is 52. Four to eight classes, and both of these come in weighing 0 0.03 units of weight. This gun is compatible with the Argus scope, the Ascent, the Gen Zero, the Hyperion, the True Vision Model R308 and the Red Raptor. Now, let's go back out really quick. The Zarza has the Argus, Ascent, Gen Zero, and Hyperion, and Red Raptor. It does not have its own. Let me grab it. <laughs> it does not have its own True Vision tritium sites uh like this does that is the only thing i see that is a major difference as far as making this gun any better in any way and honestly um uh, if you're going to be using iron sights i mean it is nice to have that but unless you're challenging yourself it really doesn't matter that much but let's get on over here all right we are at 50 meters out, and we're going to just try this at the 82-yard mark. We've got this lined up, 
and oh man i have to put it kind of at the bottom of the red to shoot anywhere near where i want to shoot so the bottom of the red on this on the weapon itself now if we go into there and we hold that green dot over where we want to shoot it's going to shoot pretty much dead on it so there we go with that now let's just go and check out how the zarza does all day long i would rather use the zarza for iron sights all right okay so we have changed out to the red raptor let's reset and i did not show this in the 338 one but all of the weapons are actually deadly accurate up close with the red raptor okay so i'm gonna switch these out to the accent and i've already got that one on so this is the new 338 uh, 308 with the accent sorry and dead on now let's go ahead and switch that over to 165 i want to see something so it is still dead on at that distance you don't need to some weapons you do need to but you don't really need to change your zeroing down to 82 yards or the lowest zeroing take advantage of that so that's going to mean that we need to go up here and right here it's dead on still from where i'm at i'm going to change it to 164 and it's still it's dead on except for it is shooting to the right all of the guns at this moment are shooting to the right of where they're supposed to be shooting I don't know why and i don't think it's the wind although the wind is blowing it a little that way i don't think that the wind should have that much to do with it so just comparing to the zarza we're going to put it on 82 to start with and the zarza actually shoots a little bit higher if it is zeroed in for 164 but the other is not we're going to up to the 150. We're going to zero to 164 and test these out with this. The accent. It is shooting off to the right and a little bit down. The Zarza shoots a little bit up and to the right. Okay, let's go ahead and switch out our uh, let's see Hyperion. I'm gonna take this guy to Hyperion, and we'll go on and put this one on the Argus. All right, for the Hyperion at 164. it's pretty much dead on but it is shooting to the right now at 164 with the zarza it's dead on with the hyperion 164 with the zarza and the argus and you can see that it is absolutely dead on with that as well i want to switch this to the argus and let's take a shot It is shooting to the right, no matter what weapon, no, what I use on it, it shoots to the right. Going up to 300 yards, or 300 meters, which is going to be 320 yards, with the Argus, it's shooting directly to the right of where I'm shooting. Now, to show you the 328 yard with this... It is shooting dead on where I put it. That was the Zarza and the Zarza with the Argus.
it's shooting just slightly to the right. So all of the scopes are slightly further off than the off to the right than the uh, Hyperion for some reason. And it seems even the Hyperion with this one is a little bit off. Now, the long test, we're going to go all the way up to 400 meters. I'm going to come back here. And what we want to do is just see what it takes to get over here and get a bullseye. So that was just at the bottom of the red and it went all the way down. So. I'm going to say. There we go. Right in the smack center of the center to the first one down. The first dot down is where you want to aim. All right, there we go, and I will see y'all in the next one. If you like my content, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment.